it's Ali and welcome to today's video so it's Monday guys the start of a new week so we've got a little bit of mixed media today messing around on a Monday and what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter some of the Tim Holtz paper dolls I just had a play with this one I've just used embossing glaze on there and, and that was just scrapbooking paper but I'm going to create a background for the butterflies I just thought they looked a little bit more interesting than just like that so well, i'm going to do my background first so i've just got a acrylic block i'm just going to spritz my this is mixed media paper i'm just going to spritz it and then i've got quite a lot of sprays i've got ground espresso tea dye speckled egg uncharted mariner rusty hinge and vintage photo i don't know whether i'm going to use them all but I'm going to start off with, I'm just going to go in with them to be honest. I'm just going to start with the rusty hinge. So I'm just going to spray a bit on me. And I'm just going to go on to my paper, just using the acrylic block. Now I am going to dry off in between each colour. So I'm just going to dry off this colour first. So I'm going to do a bit more water. And this time I'm going to come in with a vintage photo. Okay, I'm just going to spit some out. I'm going to put a little bit of water on there as well. I like doing this technique because I feel like I've got a bit more control of where I'm putting my colour. Yeah, right, them colours together, they're nice, aren't they? Right, I'm going to dry off. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the ground espresso because I think it's dark enough. I'm going to try a bit of this speckled egg. I'm not sure how this will work. I think it's very pale, this one, but let's just try it and see. Okay, I'm just going to try and get in the places where I've got no ink. I do like that, it's nice isn't it? I should have put my towel down on my desk really, it's going everywhere the ink, but never mind, I can clean it. Right, so I'm just going to dry off guys. Okay, I'm just going to spritz a little bit of water again. And I'm just going to come in lastly with the Uncharted Mariner. Okay, again, I'm just going to go down. Oh, I like that colour. I've not used this colour before, to be honest. I bought it a few weeks ago and never had a play with it yet. Yeah, I like that. That's nice, isn't it? Yes, I like that background. Okay, I'm just going to dry off again. Okay, so that's my background dry. I'm just going to do a little bit of stenciling over the top um, and a little bit of stamping. I'm going to use my vintage photo with the stencil. Uh, I'm just looking for my brown brush. Bear with me a second, guys. Just get my brush out. I'm just going to put a little bit of stenciling in the background. You probably won't see much of it. Oh, yes, you can see a bit of it, to be honest. Uh, like I said, I won't be using all this because I'm only going to do six paper dolls, but I can put it to one side for next time I want to use it. Or I can die cut some other things from it. Yeah, you can just about see the stamp uh, stenciling faintly in the background. And then I'm going to do some stamping. And I've got my lovely new favourite stamp at the moment, my script stamp. Tim Holt, well it's a Stampers Anonymous one and it's called Script, it's a beautiful stamp, lovely font, it was very kindly gifted to me from the lovely Caroline who's Cadge Crafts, if you've never been over to Caroline's channel guys, go over, she's very talented, she makes some lovely things, she's always doing giveaways and she's got challenges going on and yeah, go over and have a look, I will leave a link in my description, you won't be disappointed. Okay, yeah definitely she's a lovely lady she kindly sent me this yeah i just love it i love the font on it i still haven't ordered any cleaner you know for cleaning my stamp with the um 
the archival right can you see the stamp in there guys i hope so right let's work on the paper dolls let me just put that ink back because i've finished with that now just put my stamp i need to clean my stamp so i'm just going to put it down there so after i'm just going to give my hands a little wipe over got ink. even though i've had gloves on i don't know how i've managed to get ink on them right so i'm going to put that to one side for the minute and then we're going to do a little bit of work with the paper dolls so I'm going to do the one by one. Let me just move that out of the way as well. I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper. Okay, so I've chosen my embossing glazes again. I've got speckled egg, fossilised amber, fired brick, antique linen, vintage photo and peeled paint. So let's just try. Let's just do any one. So this lady, I've got my... Versamark uh, pen it's just like the ink pad only it's a pen and you can get in and it gives you you know to smaller details I'm not going to be fancy and do two different colours I am just going to colour them all one colour and I can see that there's a little die cut needs pushing out there just use your pen you could do it with an embossing pad um, and this is just a bit easier to get into little places. Okay, so I'm going to have that as my sticky piece. And then I want another piece for putting the embossing powder on. So I'm going to start with peeled paint. I'm going to go all up. Let me just get my tweezers. It'll be easier to... And she's not got any on her head. Come here. Can't get hold of it. Right, I'm just going to go all over a dress with the peel paint. Now, I might have missed areas. Can you see in the middle there? I've missed a little bit, but I'd have to go over that again. So I'll have a look what it looks like. And if I need to add some more, we can do that. Let's just dry, let's just heat set this first and just see what it looks like. Okay, so I've got my heat gun. I'm just going to turn it on and just let it get a little bit warm. Oh, well, my heat gun's decided to stop. I think it's overheated, so I'm just going to put the paper dolls there first. We'll put the um, embossing glaze on them and then I will heat set them separately. So let's do this little girl then. Just pop out them die cut pieces and I want my pen again so this time i want it oh wrong end this end it's got two ends like a thick end and a thinner end oh I have my hands there so i don't want to cover the sash i don't want to cover the hands but i do want to co cover in there like i said it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect at all and I'm going to go with this fired brick. Hopefully my heat gun's just overheated. I hope. Because it's a new one. Right, let's go over here. Okay, I'm just going to get my... I can see little bits that I've missed, but I'll have to go over them again if they look funny, you know, rather than putting the uh, ink pen back on when the embossing powder's on there. I can always touch it up. Right, okay, let's do another one. Uh, let's have this lady here. Okay, I'm going to go with my, how many more have I got left? One, two, three, four, two. right, okay, let's do this lady. I don't know why it's not covered it, because I am going over everywhere. I've just ordered another one of these pens, because I've had this for a long time. Maybe it's drying out a little bit, maybe that's the problem. Right, okay, what should we do with this one? Uh, 
let's do vintage photo. Okay, tweezers. Come here. I can't get my tweezers underneath. Oh dear me. There we go. Okay, leave her there. Oh, let's put this back. Okay. Right, next one. Uh, let's have a look. What colour should we have for this little girl? I think we'll have the speckled egg. No, I've used speckled egg, haven't I? Let's go with the uh, fossilised amber. I mean, you could do it in two colours if you wanted to, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to put some of the yellow in her flowers in her hair as well. Uh, yeah, for the purpose of the video, I'm just doing one colour, but if you wanted a proper play with them, you know, you could do the dresses, the clothes in all different colours if you wanted to. Nothing stopping you. It would, it would have took me twice as long if I was to do that. I can't get the... Okay, there's it. Right, last one. And we'll use... Let's just pop that little bit out. What should we use? Antique linen. Let's do this one. You know, you could do the flowers in different colour, the belt in different colour, but it would take a bit longer. And like I said, for the purpose of the video, I just thought I'd keep it short, well, as short as I can. It's probably going to still be a bit long, but not as long as it would be if I was painting all the, uh, embossing all the clothes different colours. Right, let's have a look at this one then. Come here, I can't pick it up. There we go. Okay, right, let's pop this back. Okay. Let's hope my heat gun's going to come on now. It's had a chance to cool down a little bit, hopefully. Oh, I can never get the lid back on these things. I'll sort it in a minute. Right, okay, let's get rid of all the embossing powder. Okay, right, let's start with... Is it going to come on? Let's heat set these then. So you can see I have missed a, little, a few little specks out, but to be quite honest with you, I don't think I mind it. I think I might just finish it off, go over it again. That one I don't mind because it looks like her dress is, as you know, age. So I don't mind that one. That one I don't mind with a little bit showing as well. Um, I think I need to finish that one off. I need to put some more powder down her arms there. So let's do these two. Um, get another sheet of paper just to finish it off properly. So just put some embossing glaze down there and up there okay let's just get this one okay Right, so we'll heat set that one again in a minute. Let's just pop the lid back on here. And then this one with the vintage photo. Let's just do the bits that I've missed. I think it's my pen. I think when my new pen arrives, it'll be better. Hopefully. 
it feels a bit dry this pen so uh, where am I looking for vintage photo if it doesn't work this time I can touch it up when my new pen comes I won't waste any more time Okay. Oh, I've not put it back in, have I? Okay, and then the last one. Just go over that again. And it was fired brick, I think I used, wasn't it? Right, let's just get my pen. Yeah, I think this pen's added. It's not got much ink left on it by the feel of it. But we'll try, we'll try again and if not I'll wait till my new pen comes and then I'll touch them up. Okay, let's put that back. I'll probably have to wait again now for my heat gun to come back on if it's overheated again. Let's have a look, let's try. Oh no, it's okay. Okay, that's better, isn't it? I've covered them more now. So, yeah, don't they look nice? Just a bit of colour on them instead of just the the uh, black and white. I do like that effect. That was just a happy accident, that, wasn't it? And I did a shoes as well, but that looks like it's really aged, that dress, doesn't it? Right, let's get my ink. And let's just go around the edges a little bit, if we can. Where's my... Um, the piece we've worked on here right let's just pop them to one side for a minute let me just get a wipe and wipe all this embossing powder off so i've chosen a little die here it's just a butterfly die uh, where's my scissors gone it's just so i've got just my little die cutting machine on my desk rather than me going getting my big one out this is just a little portable one I don't know why it's how it comes I'm sure it... that's it right so all you do is just, I've had this one for years you just put your paper on and you die and then you just put it through hoping it'll put this card yes it has so let's do how many do we need six so so how are we all doing guys it's actually uh what day is it today it's sunday it's a uh, mixed media monday tomorrow and i hadn't done a project i was having to think what i could do and i thought let's have a go with this and see what this will turn out like <laughs> so yeah it's sunday afternoon everybody's chilling watching telly and i thought i'm just gonna go and get this video sometimes it's monday morning when i get to video it if i've not done it over the weekend but i wasn't doing anything else so i thought i'm gonna go and do the video and then i know i've got my video for monday okay handy this little one just for on your desk for small dies Yeah, we haven't been anywhere at the weekend. No, we're just we're saving our money for when um, family come down, you know, at Easter. Because we want to go out and have a nice meal. So, in fact, probably won't have much of this paper left, will I, by the time I've cut six out? Yeah, we've not done anything this weekend. The girls went into town at on saturday for some lunch but we've not i've not been through the door so i've not been through the door for couldn't tell you how long to be honest no i haven't so let's just see which bit i want how many have we got one two three four this is five yeah i've not been out i wouldn't mind nipping to the range because I've, there's a couple of things i want to pick up i've had a look online but the charger, you can pay either £4 delivery or you can have it delivered to the store. But you've still got to pay £4 delivery to have it delivered to the store, which I thought was a bit 
strange so i'm gonna ask hubby will he take me there if not today tomorrow there's just a few bits i want that i've seen online for upcoming projects yeah four pound to have it delivered to your home or four pounds to go into store and collect it just, i didn't understand it didn't make any sense to me that right let me not lose that die okay so let's just um put some ink around the edge of these butterflies also there's only that little piece left actually yeah uh, let's have a look what they look like yeah they look nice like that so what i'll have to do is because they've got this the antennae there i'm just going to trim that off because i don't want that sticking so that's one for her one for her i'm hoping this isn't going to be too big on this little girl we'll see oh put in the girl instead of the butterfly on this lady i think i've put one too many have i one, two, three, four. Did I do six or did I only do f Oh no, I did one earlier, didn't I? Where's the blue one that I did earlier? Oh, so yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take that one off here and put one of these proper ones on. Might be a little bit big, but... We won't know unless we try, will we? Right, let's glue this one down first then. This doesn't look like it's... I want the edges to be quite dark, you know, so they stand out. That's better. Right, let's put some glue down here. Where's your glue, Alison? Amongst the chaos, as always is. Here it is. Okay. Hold it for a second. I like them. They look really different, don't they, to just a black and white paper doll. Right, let's do this one then. Just put some more ink around there. Yeah, so I've only got a, well, a week on Friday the family come down for the Easter weekend. So we can't wait. We're all excited. It's been very strange having us all together in the one place. We've not been together for a long time. I haven't seen them all since last summer when I went down. Then I've got to go. I'm going back up in April because my daughter has a surgery on her eyes on the 17th of April. And she wants me there. She's having a corneal transplant. So I'm really worried about that, to be honest. Um, so I'm going up to be with her. I like them, they look nice I think, don't they? Okay. Oh no, it doesn't look that big, does it? To be fair. Got embossing powder everywhere. Well, I enjoyed making them, I really did. I enjoyed doing that background. I enjoyed embossing the paper dolls. There's a lot of things you can do with them embossing glazes. So these will go in my vintage ephemera box to use on some projects. Yeah, I'm pleased with them actually. Turned out better than what I thought they would. Okay. Oh, I've got blue on the ink. Oh, my table's covered. I'll have to get a hot a bowl of hot soapy water and clean all my desk. Covered in embossing powder. I wish I'd have embossed that flag, but I didn't, so never mind. So then guys, that's me done for today's messing about on a Monday, and I've had a really good time messing about today. Let's just get a piece of white card and I'll put them on it show you they stand out a bit better don't they on card i'm very pleased with them 
yeah they look completely different don't they really really pleased with them and i really did enjoy having a play about today guys so as always thank you so much for stopping by i hope i've inspired you a little bit today take care and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye for now